Greetings from Developer 25. In this video, I am going to cover performance options of Developer 25. Our first option is Disable Embeds, then Performance Enhancement and Disable Gutenberg. So, if you disable Embeds, it will disable all Embeds functionality in your WordPress dashboard. So, before disabling the option, let me show you how actually it looks. So, here, if you search for Embeds, you can see a block and you can just embed a video like this and now if I disable this and save the settings let's delete this and reload now if I type embed and input the link then embed you can see sorry this content could not be embedded not only for Gutenberg editor, it will completely disable the embed functionality whatever you are using on your WordPress website. So then let's navigate to performance enhancement. Inside this performance enhancement option, you can see a lot of options which you can use to boost performance and security for your website. Let me open the page source. As you can see, there is a version called 933 for WooCommerce. No matter what plugin you are using or what page you are using, everybody can see which version you are using. So if you like to disable this, then just remove version from Mr. and script. Use this option, save the settings, and it will remove the versions. Just reload, as you can see, the version is removed. And now no one can see which plugin and what page version you are using. So this is a security concern for a lot of users. So you can use this feature. Not only this, we have some other options too, which works pretty well. Just decide what features you need and checkbox, then save your settings. So that's all about the performance and disable embeds feature. Now let's see the disable Gutenberg for. If you enable this, it will disable Gutenberg style and script from your front end. I mean, from this area, view source. And also you can remove the Gutenberg from backend and move back to your classic editor as I am going to show you again just adding a new post this is my Gutenberg editor now if I remove the backend Gutenberg blog editor and style and save the settings now if I reload you can see it's turned into a classic editor so that's all about the performance step of WP25 in the next video, I am going to talk about Code Snippet, where I will discuss how you can easily add custom CSS in your website dashboard and also add front-end script for your website.